It is true that we have beautiful beaches and beautiful weather and the campus is a fantastically nice place. Although I'd like people to know this, I don't want them to make a decision about UC San Diego based on the beaches and the weather. We're much more than that. I think the future of UC San Diego physics department is bright. The students are eager. They're eager to make a contribution and to make progress and to move forward. I would describe the UC San Diego physics faculty as very passionate about their research and I think that the faculty is really dedicated to helping us succeed. I chose UC San Diego as a school because I knew it had a pretty diverse breadth of research interests and faculty and as an incoming graduate student I wasn't exactly sure uh, what I wanted to do so I knew here I could talk to different faculty and get a better idea of the direction I wanted to take. Uh, in the physics department we have five uh, groups that specialize in different areas of physics. Uh, these are astrophysics, high energy physics, biophysics, condensed matter physics which is part of my uh, community and also plasma physics and they all deal with very different type of flavors of physics. Some of the main benefits of uh, research here for me personally is that we have a supercomputer center on site and we also have our own little cluster connected to the supercomputer center and that's a great synergy that only exists in a couple of places in the United States. Then my colleagues in astrophysics, they have access to Keck telescope, which is one of the largest telescopes in the world in Hawaii, in Mauna Kea. So a great thing about being a graduate student at UC San Diego is having access to these Keck telescopes. In addition to telescopes, they have instruments on them, cameras and spectrographs. And every five or so years, there's a new instrument and it allows us to see the universe in a whole new way, um, at new wavelengths or with new sensitivity. We basically, we can discover things that have never been seen before. And that's really exciting. So I study how galaxies are distributed in space and I compare what they used to be like billions of years ago to today. And that teaches us about how galaxies change with time, and it also teaches us about dark matter. Dark matter is the dominant part of matter in the universe, and it permeates everywhere in a space. But dark matter interacts very weakly uh, with ordinary matter. So we build very sensitive experiments. So students who work in this kind of experiment learn many uh, practical techniques. They have to learn to deal with a large amount of data and to learn how to analyze them. They also need to develop a technology in order to build the next generation dark matter detectors. So they have to design and build the instruments that at the frontier of the technology. Here we are in my lab, uh, which is a group of uh, soft matter, which is the physics of squishy stuff. And squishy stuff is like all the soft material and all those soft materials, they have this common feature that they have a structure at the micro scale. And so what we do in this lab is try to reproduce some of the features of uh, life and like all these bio materials, which can reconfigure. And one of the questions is how can you do that in synthetic systems? And that's what we do here. I got involved in condensed matter physics because I found that in condensed matter physics, you have these laws of physics, you have the quantum nature of our universe right in your hand when you hold a sample or when you hold a material. And, and at the same time, it gives us an, a way to control these laws of physics because we can make materials, we can design new materials with, with different properties, tapping into precisely these laws that we're trying to understand, these fundamentally beautiful laws of physics. So the department covers a lot of different areas that are very exciting at the time. Uh, we were involved in the discovery of the Higgs particle at CERN uh, with researchers working in the CMS collaboration. And then our department uh, was a trailblazer in introducing biophysics into the physics department and quantitative methods into biology. We're one of the first in the world to do that. Biologists here at UC San Diego uh, did a marvelous experiment where they fluorescently tagged individual genomic segments and tracked their motion in live cells uh, in three dimensions. To better understand what they observed, they invited us to take a look at their data. With my graduate student, we uh, developed a theory based on statistical mechanics and polymer physics that shed light on some of these questions. So for doing this kind of research that is fueled by the interplay between theory and experiment at the interface of physics and biology, 
UC San Diego is a perfect environment. I think one of the great things about being at a university is constantly being surrounded by a, you know, a excited and, and uh, intelligent and creative young people. There's really you know, no job like it. So physics students here are uh, very talented and very driven. San Diego in general is a great place to spend your PhD thesis because you can do a lot of things. You can go, there is oceans, there is mountains, there is desert. I spend a lot of time doing outdoor activities like hiking. A lot of people keep surfboards in their office to go surfing after uh, a long day of work. And I think like this balance between academic excellence and still a relaxed approach and maybe more creative is very positive for the research. I'm really proud that I can do my PhD research in such a top-notch environment and also with all of the support from just some of the most amazing researchers in the world. Uh, I think that makes me really proud and excited to move on to the next step.